vlog 109 109 hey everybody it's me Jaime the shut-in cartoonist musician and welcome to another vlog cast from the corn tortilla press world headquarters located in the san francisco bay uh today i woke up with really really good news the um washington redskins and their little shithead owner dan snyder announced the coming to changing the mascot logo and name finally i've been a part of this i've uh, passed out petitions for it um for at least the last decade or so and uh you know unfortunately for all of us indigenous folks as well as non-indigenous people who've been on board with changing this and protesting and so forth it took the corporations to come in and you know drop the hammer of pressure on uh dan schneider who is the the primary owner of 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 the washington team um i can't believe i'm thanking corporations but thank you fedex and whoever else it was because they said they're taking their names and their money out if it doesn't change so that's good news rumor has it one of the names that are being considered are the washington red tails and the logo they had there was of it looked like a world war ii era plane possibly a fighter plane with a red tail i don't know much about world war ii history or airplane history but it looked cool and i can get with that it kind of makes sense actually um but We'll see what happens down the line. In celebration, I wore my, my Jim Thorpe t-shirt today, who is a personal hero of mine growing up. Uh, um, James Francis Thorpe, uh, one of the world's, at least the 20th century's greatest athletes. Um, played a lot of sports and played them well. Uh, I really got into him. In, I did a report, I think it was sixth grade, about maybe fifth, but I think it was sixth grade, about him. Um, because I remember distinctly being in a classroom with all these kids i love these kids but you know we were all really into sports and i mean really into sports and uh there's you know a sizable group of, of black kids it was predominantly white of course you know and then there was a few asian children and uh, other kids were um uh, we had a jewish girl who's that's the first time i ever learned about judaism it was from uh, karen applebaum who is no longer with us karen was awesome Went all the way through high school with her. Most of those kids I went through all the way through high school. But, uh, yeah, you know, we were watching teams and stuff. We, we, we worshipped all the Bay Area teams. And, you know, everybody had somebody ethnically just about except me, you know. Um, granted, I don't know if, uh, uh, you know, the Asian kids did, but I certainly didn't. So I picked up on Jim Thorpe and I, I read a little book that, you know, made for kids about him. And was very, very proud and pleased and um it did my little report on him and the only thing i remember that bummed me out was that he was from back then but at that time though we i did we did as, as indigenous people we had sunny six killer who was a quarterback for the university of washington and of course at stanford then to be playing for unfortunately the very bad back then uh new england patriots and he played i think for the niners and the raiders i can't remember which order was uh, jim plunkett who like myself he is of of um of native and Mexican blood. So, yeah, and he's from, you know, San Jose, I believe he's a NorCal dude. So I was really big into Jim. Jim was, Jim's, Jim's the man. So, uh, yeah, both and notice Jim's, you know, Jim Plunkett, you know, Jim Thorpe, the Jim's get it. Hi me, the Jim's. So people used to call me Jimmy back then when I was a kid. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm getting a little carried away with the native thing here, but I wish my mom was around to see this and some other relatives too, and Jim Thorpe and everyone. But uh, finally, you know, let's see if the Cleveland Indians jump on this one and change it up a little bit. And um, I know there are certain parties that think, oh, we're just being so PC, but these are the same people that are really complaining because we're trying to end racism. I mean, what's so bad about ending racism? What is the argument, you know? I mean, what's it's no skin off anyone's nose that isn't of this culture that, you know, if you're a white guy, and you're like, oh, I don't want to change Washington's name. Why? Why? It's just inconvenient for you. Couldn't get a haircut this month either. Anyway, I'll stop. I'll leave it right there. But I'm very happy today. Yay. And I hope you are too. And I hope you stay happy. And uh, if you have to go out, mask up. Wash them hands. Uh, sanitize them both. Do it all. Keep a good distance away from people. In fact, stay in if you possibly can. But otherwise, be kind to yourself and be kind to others. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time.